Okay, Joe Rogan has completely lost his fucking mind. Let's go. No, no, no. This is <laughs> this is the. I think he's he's fully gone over the edge. <laughs> I want to see you. This is rock bottom. I mean, I don't, do you agree, Dan? You saw this clip, right? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I, this doesn't seem any worse than what he's been for the last like two years. I don't I know. Like, I, I, I've never heard him say this shit so explicitly. Yeah. And the people that, that love him. Trump, they feel like this is a witch hunt. And they feel like all the things he's getting indicted for are bullshit anyway. It does, it, not only does it not work, but it kind of hardens their position mm -hmm. that he's being targeted. And that this is, these are like the, the actions of a banana republic. You take your political rival and you arrest him. And specifically, you charge him with things that you're fucking guilty of. I, I don't disagree. The optics of it is pretty crazy. Like, from the outside. But, like, Trump is a psychopath. I don't even know huh? if I agree. That I the mean, optics of, a, of arresting your political opponent? In, it's not a good situation. In a situation. functioning society, like, politicians get arrested. Yeah. It's, you know good, what I mean? Like, I, to me, it's more Banana Republic that you can fucking try and overthrow the government and, and get away with it, and nobody does anything. And what does Ban Banana, Banana Republic even mean, by the way? Well, it's in a reference to all of the Central American countries, and that's here's another layer of irony, is the Banana Republics are, you know, like Honduras and Guatemala and all these countries that were largely... Uh, their entire economy was like fruit, bananas, uh, and the American fruit companies came in and were basically running the country by just like bribing all the officials, and it was like super corrupt. So the banana republics, we we made those, you know what I mean? Like the the thing that was corrupt about them, the corrupting influence was U.S. business interests, and so um, that's a small man or it's like a manipulable corrupt government. Right. That and the United so, States specifically so the, has created. Right. So there's a little bit of irony in, in <laughs> calling, you know, that's like a parent being people like are, people. Corruption is actually being prosecuted. That makes us a banana republic. It, it's to me, it's like it's the exact fucking opposite. <clears> of that. So I can see why from their perspective, it looks like that. Right. Even though what you're saying is tr objectively the truth. Right. right? Uh, it's not a good situation, but it is what it is. I get what he, you're right, that he has somewhat of a point with like, yeah, I mean, he's correct that it's definitely hardening the opinions of all the people he, that think he did, he did nothing wrong and they indicted him. Yeah, he did everything right. He he's speaking everything to right. his audience and like, they're all like, dude, he's indicted three times. Like to them, it's just becoming a joke. But Joe Rogan is a fucking moron. I mean, his brain is made of ground beef at this point and egg yolk. I did everything right and they indicted me. I don't think there's anything left in that nut. In that he's just, <laughs> just like a human like like walnut. They crack him open and just release the nut. I don't know what that means. <laughs> sometimes I just talk and <laughs> yeah. figure it out as we sometimes. go. Yeah, some but sometimes it just goes off the rails.